in this episode of Hunt for the Golden Apple. How are you such a big cave system down the slow? Possibly. Ooh, dungeon. Whoa. I mean, now too. Hey you guys, Antrim here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video, and this is Hunt for the Golden Apple, Season 3, Episode 1, and I bet a lot of you are wondering right now what exactly Season 3 is all about, what happened to Season 2, and why wasn't there a finale of it? Well, the reason why I am switching over to Season 3 so fast is because I made a moral decision with Hunt for the Golden Apple that I was not enjoying it anymore, um, and the reason why I took some really deep thought into this, and I figured out that playing Hunt for the Golden Apple in the same style that season one was going in was simply not working. Going through the nether, searching around random areas, running away from home, having 90% of the area that I'm going through be ocean biome, which by the way was the most depressing point about the entire thing, was just becoming old and I wanted to change it up for the better to see if I can really enjoy the series a lot more and see if I can make it more engaging for you guys. So I flipped over to season three and I've actually made a couple of changes to the map, uh, the hunt for the golden apple map in general that I'm going to end up showing you guys right now. So there are really two big changes that I've made with the Hunt for the Golden Apple map. If you guys remember when I believe it was 1.8 originally came out, I took only the main portion of the Hunt for the Golden Apple map, you know, Mount Ant Venom, the chicken and copra structure outside, uh, the all of the main elements and main areas around the land, and I cropped them out. And uh, I just kind of let the land clip. But instead what I've done this time is I've done the same cropping, but using a mod called World Edit, I have actually went in and I've smoothed out the edging uh, where the land clipping would normally be. So now what you get is a fairly smooth transition. I didn't really get the cleanest sort of smoothing on it, but it does look really good. And at least to the naked eye who doesn't really know that it is clipped off, it looks fairly natural. So I wanted the Hunt for the Golden Apple map again to look, you know, nice. Like I just wanted it to feel like it was a complete map, like it was meant to be that way. Now I couldn't really get this working perfectly on absolutely everything. Um, with Ocean specifically, it doesn't really work that well. So, yeah, but um, it does end up working really well when it comes to, like, hills and stuff like that. Um, I was able to transition them quite well. And as well, I am using a different seed for this because the seed for the original Hunt for the Golden Apple map was crappy in 1.2. I'm just going to say that right now. Now, I'm not 100% sure if the seed that I'm using now is all that great, but from what I could see, it was a lot better than some of the crap I was getting otherwise. And I actually do have a specific direction I plan on traveling out in when I go traveling out here. And, uh, the, I guess the third thing that I have changed about the Hunt for the Golden Apple series is the way I'm going to go about searching for dungeons. Uh, no longer, or at least it's not going to be my primary goal to go through the nether and then just walk around until I get to another point, drop down another portal and see if it lands me somewhere good. Uh, because, you know, it's just a lot of that just kind of ends up boring. I think you guys are more interested in me traveling outside, for example. Uh, let me actually do a little bit of walking around because I'm sure all of the little, like, flybys and stuff that I was going to be doing to show you guys examples has been finished um i'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants here but if i head off in this direction anyways you're going to notice that the spawn point for this area has changed up quite a bit um if you guys end up remembering the hunt for the golden apple seed you remember you would remember that there was a giant sand area here and it was really quite flat now again to the untrained eye this area would look fairly natural but to the trained eye, those of you who follow my series enough, you would know that this is not quite right. And if you kind of look here, it appears as if there is a line of land that has been modified a bit. And that's exactly what has happened. Uh, because with World Edit, I actually took all of this land and I just merged it together. Because there was originally a sheer cliff facing here, but I sort of melted it all together. Um, you can kind of see that area over there. Yeah, it's, like, it's just not the way it used to be. And in the 1.8 spawning, this was originally a desert biome, and then way off in that direction, there was a swamp biome. But now you can kind of see off in this direction, it kind of looks like this is naturally supposed to be here. You can sort of see that the mountainous area over here kind of matches what it's like over here, although over there it's not nearly as extreme. But I, when I originally saw that, I was like, yeah, this is the seed that I'm going to go after. So it's definitely what I decided to choose, and I thought is going to make a fairly interesting adventure. So now that I'm done running around here, I was actually on peaceful mode while I was doing this, and I did that because I wanted to be able to run around without wasting away my energy or anything like that. Uh, stupid cows. <laughs> they ended up respawning because I changed the seed over. But uh, anyways, so now that I've made all of these changes, like I said, what I plan on doing is I am going to probably, or at least, for, you know, not 100% of the time, but I'm going to be searching for dungeons in a different way. I'm going to be searching for actual, actual strongholds using the ender pearls and the eyes of the ender. 
So there will be times where I will be going through the nether because, I, you know, I'm going to be changing up the series a little bit. Uh, you know, to, in order to get ender, uh, in order to get ender eyes, you have to get blaze powder, which you get from the nether. So, um, let's see, where is it here? So I already have six ender pearls, so I'm probably going to be bringing these along with me. The prospect of death is really much less in, you know, Minecraft as a whole ever since the 1.8 update in Hunger. Because, uh, yeah, damage is a lot harder to take in these versions, if we're being honest. Uh, I'm actually going to take a couple extra pieces of food just because I don't really want to eat my mushroom stews right away. These are just kind of like backups, you know. Yeah. So anyways, um, I believe I have explained absolutely everything that I want to explain. And if you guys have any ideas of things that I can do to, uh, n not, not to include using mods, uh, I, I want to say this right away. I'm not going to use mods for this series, but if you guys have any ideas as to how I can improve this series, at least from this point, you know, after the improvements I'm doing right now, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below. Um, yeah. Uh, before I get going, though, if you guys are unfamiliar with uh, my main YouTube channel at youtube.com slash antvenom, I make all sorts of daily Minecraft content there. I've been making daily Minecraft content for over a year now. It's kind of crazy that it's gotten to this point. But uh, anyways, okay, so it looks like it's actually turning nighttime here. Um, at least I can see the sun setting off in that direction. So I guess I've been talking for, what, like six minutes now or something like that. So let's go ahead and let's head underground here. Uh, well, not, not really underground, I guess... I don't know, would you call your basement underground? I mean, I guess it kind of technically is, but yeah. Okay, so we got to kind of wait for the sun to set enough here. All right, I think it's set set enough. Let's just go ahead and let's spam our beds here. So as far as traveling goes, I think the first uh, area that, like the first cave system that I'm going to try and end up finding, I'm going to walk to. So it's going to feel a little bit like the same sort of stuff. I'm going to end up walking off in one direction, trying to find a cave system. But what I'm going to be aiming to do uh, is I'm I'm going to be going very similar to a series that I ran on my channel called Hunt for the Ender Dragon. And what the goal of Hunt for the Ender Dragon was, was basically to find and kill an Ender Dragon. And the only way to do that was to get to the end. And the only way to get to the end is to find a stronghold. And the only reasonable way to find a stronghold is to take a bunch of ender eyes, throw them into the sky, and see where they point. And they point based on where the nearest stronghold is. Now, I'm not going to be going into the end in this series, though it might be a little bonus clip that I might end up doing if I end up getting, you know, end up finding a golden apple within season three here. Uh, so, yeah, um... That might be kind of cool, you know, fighting the Ender Dragon randomly. It's the it's the post series bonus sort of thing. I'm actually getting all excited about the series again just by thinking about the possibility, you know. Um, this land is kind of kind of nice. And am I gonna find a cave system this early on? I kind of doubt it. Wait a minute. Should I turn up my volume? Yes, I should. Okay, it's only 10%. Let's turn it up to 20. That's where I like it. Oh, I forgot to bring I forgot to bring torches. That's kind of a bad thing. Hmm. Okay, well, I got enough wood. I don't have any coal whatsoever. Is there any coal in here? Yeah, there is. Okay, so at least I can make a couple of torches. And with this pickaxe, man, this is going to get me so many pieces of coal. I'm not going to have to, like, mine up any more for a couple minutes. Uh, I mean, for, like, another episode or two. This, like, look, this right here, 23 pieces of coal. So, anyways, I heard a bunch of zombies down there. I think there might be a zombie spawner down there, so let's find out. This is actually a very promising start. I haven't explored this land at all, guys, either. Like... If this turns out being a zombies, oh crap, 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 crap. Okay, I had a feeling I would do that. Um, let's get that over there or something. Okay, let's see what's let's see what's down here. I swear to you guys, I have not explored the seed at all. <laughs> it may seem that way right now, but I swear to you that I haven't. If I were to find a golden apple in this dungeon, wouldn't that just be like the most insanely ironic thing ever? If this is even a dungeon, actually, I don't even know if it is. Um, I see lighting over here. Okay, let's let's go ahead and let's take care of these guys. Yeah, it might not even be a dungeon, actually. Though, wouldn't that be funny if it was? Oh, it's not even a dungeon. Or is it? Wait a minute. Let's find out. Hmm. Let's see here. Okay, got a little bit of iron. Ooh, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold the phone! How are you such a big cave system down the slow? I have a bunch of wood. Okay, let's just make that all in the sticks right now. I'm gonna need. I know I'm gonna need it all. Um, okay, that's gonna be good for now. One more stack. Let's make sure I keep 16 more sticks. I honestly didn't think that this was going to be a cave-heavy episode. Uh, I figured that this was, there was just gonna be a lot of traveling in this episode, but not really so much anything else. 
Oh, and if you guys are curious, I'm, I'm not going to hit F3, actually, it, it, pretty much at all in the series, because I don't want you guys knowing the new seed just yet. Because I know the one fatal mistake that I made with Hunt for the Golden Apple previously is uh, that I told people to seed, but it was just kind of too good not to tell people. But, as a result, people would tell, try and tell me the coordinates of golden apples within the seed, and it's like, that kind of kills the fun, you know? I don't really want to, I don't really want to be told where golden apples are. One cannot simply walk to a golden apple. Golden apples can only be found. I mean, naturally. Otherwise, it's just not fun. So, anyways, I don't really need any iron. It's something I kind of forgot to show you guys back at the regular house. Is that I have, like, seven stacks of iron. I kid you guys not. Seven, about seven stacks or so. So, iron is not going to be something that I'm going to aim for too harshly. And as well, I don't know how often I'm going to end up going back to the house. I may end up going back to the house a lot. I may end up, go I may end up going back a little. Um, there's a lot of discussion points for this series at this point. Like, I, I know that at least it was starting to feel really dull. At Whoa, pack of endermen. Okay, I know I'm going to need all the ender pearls that I can get. But I know running them into the water is not going to be the greatest idea. Okay, come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, uh, and for those of you that don't follow my channel and hunt for the ender dragon when it uh, happened. Oh, crap. Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, crap. Crappity crap. Where did you come from, buddy? Okay. Well, you're not dealing, like, any damage to me, so you can just go away. Yeah, there we go. Oh, jeez. That, that, that scared me. <laughs> go, go, get, go away. What was that? Okay, well, I want to get this enderman before he goes away. But yeah, for those of you that never saw Hunt for the Ender Dragon, um, if you want to attack Endermen, attack them at the feet. And 90% of the time, they won't teleport on you, but I guess... Where are you? Did you... Oh, you got teleported into water. He's probably really far away at this point. Oh, that sucks. I did not want that to happen, because if he hit... If an Enderman hits water while they're targeting you, they won't... They won't come after you anymore, so I think I just lost that Enderman. Possibly. Ooh, dungeon. Whoa. Okay. Okay. There was a... Th this didn't even sound like a skeleton spawner. Okay. Um, I might be able to make use of this. This is really close to the surface, I think. Okay, let's take a look. Um, two saddles. Don't really need those. Hi let's see what's hiding beneath this. Ah, nothing. Man, can't even get any luck in the new dungeon. Thought I could have ended it off at episode one, man. That would have been awesome. Ha, huh, new, new season, guys? Well, it's over. Episode 1. Boom. <laughs> that would have been funny. Actually, it would have been really ironic. Because I, I don't want you guys to get the assumption that I've planned out this map at all. And that's another thing I wanted to mention, too. Um, at least now that we're on you know, a more positive note and stuff like that. Uh, I actually... I had gotten comments in the past and... Oh! 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 Why you no drop ender pearl? Why you... Uh, I guess, I guess they don't drop it 100% of the time. Um, but people had actually suggested, and I, I know that this is probably just the hater speaking, so I'm not saying like, oh, all of you are suggesting this, so you're all bad. No. But uh, people were saying that I was possibly um, removing golden apples from chests that I was finding within dungeons. And I actually think I might have mentioned this in a previous episode, but I'm not really sure. But anyways, 100% uh, not true. Uh, I've actually been getting to the point where I really want to find a golden apple, like, even, I want it to just kind of happen, because uh, I really like the series to end, but on a positive note, you know, like, I want it to end properly, you know, finding a golden apple within a dungeon, that's my goal, and that would be absolutely amazing. And uh, something else I wanted to point out now, god, there's so much that I've wanted to talk about, I've been thinking so much about the series lately, is that, um... I should probably change up the description for this series as well, because if I find a golden apple within a stronghold or mining... <laughs> That's one of those moments where quitting your commentary for a second can just be beneficial. <laughs> God, where's the creeper spawner? But if I find a golden apple within a mining shaft chest, a stronghold chest, or a dungeon chest, the series will be over. And here's why. Because I looked up on the Minecraft wiki, and the chance that a golden apple can spawn in either either one of those chests, I'm not really sure if uh, they spawn in mining shaft chests at all, but I'm sure they probably do, is all around the board, a 1 in 125 shot. So, no matter what, it will... Okay, yeah, no matter what, it will be a 1 in 125 shot, so I won't have to worry about that too much. This, this cave system, very reminiscent of 1.7. It's just very nice. 
I mean, the, the original area I fell into was definitely a 1.0 element. The big, giant, spherical thing that was in the ground. Definitely a 1.0 element. Okay, let's see where I'm at here. Okay, I was definitely hearing zombies in the wall over here, and it was more prevalent... What about here? I don't really know if there are zombies up here. Oh, crap. I heard a creeper. I heard a creeper. I know I heard a creeper. Okay, I need to be careful. 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 Where be the zombies and the zombie spawners and stuff? Oh, God. Oh, no. No, you don't. No. No. Get out of here. Okay. I heard zombies, and I don't want them to get the fall on me. Nor do I want any creepers to get the fall on me. And I know they'll pathfind me now, too. Whew, not too bad. Kind of let that one happen. I kind of knew that he wasn't that close to me. Whew, God. There's just so much tension in episode one. I love it. <laughs> Did not expect for this to happen, but I am thankful nonetheless. This season is getting off to a really good start so far, and I just have a good feeling about things to come. I think Hunt for the Golden Apple has got a good last breath going for it. Yeah. And, uh, the very, I guess, I don't know if this is going to be the very last discussion topic I have to do in terms of, you know, new stuff. But I had, I've had a thought. I've had a thought about this series. Now, now, now with everything happening, it just, I feel like I don't want it to, to be this way. But I'm thinking that I might make this series the last 10 episodes. Season 3 being 10 episodes long, with the exception of if I find a golden apple within the last episode, I'll spend another episode trying to find my way home. But I was thinking to end it off within the, la the next 10 episodes. Now, I don't know what you guys are going to think about this. That's why I'm opening it up to you guys. I'm pretty sure, at least if things continue on this way anyways, I'm going to be a lot happier doing this series than I, than I was prior. And this cave system is actually not that big in comparison to other ones that I've seen. But man, is it, is it treating me well so far? But yeah, let me know what you guys think about that and we'll, we'll, we'll kind of go from there. Okay, what mouse, why did you scroll on me? Creeper, you are not even scary. Ooh, he gave me coal. No, I just, I thought of something that uh, a friend of mine named Skitscape. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not going to tell you guys the idea because he is working on this. He's working on his, never mind. Just never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Ah, I, I can't be giving things away. Skitscape, you're an awesome person. <laughs> Why do I say that? Because I almost revealed your series idea, and now I'm just trying to suck up to you so you don't hate me forever. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyways, so where should I be heading off to at this point? Um. I think we're probably getting to the point where I should end off the episode. And now that we have an area down there, I see that there's a lot of stuff. There's a zombie. There's all sorts of stuff. Got a lot talked about in this episode, and there's a creeper after me. I think. I think. Nope, maybe not. I, don't, I have no idea. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end off this episode here, guys, before it gets too long. Um, and we will start the next episode heading down into the, the greater depths of this cave system. And we shall see what happens from there. But anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this episode. And I hope you all have enjoyed the changes that have come to Hunt for the Golden Apple. Uh, again, be sure to leave me your thoughts and your feedback in the comment section down below. But again, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you haven't checked out already, my main YouTube channel is youtube.com slash antvenom. Link is going to be in the underpants bar down below or the doobly-doo or the description, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, guys, hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Antvenom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.